Hey, it's Zana. Welcome back to Consciously Create. And if you're new here, hi. I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film four series here on my YouTube. And this one is all about business and branding and marketing and so, so much more. So for this video, I'm going to walk you through how to remove somebody else's song from your artist page and how to move yours to the correct artist page because this is something that's happened to me many, many times and it got very annoying. But with DistroKid, there is a specific button that you can click on and input all of the details and it will like it will send it to the team, the staff at DistroKid and they will sort it out for you. So we're going to jump straight over to my computer and I'm going to walk you through this. So it's now under the column that says goodies and you click on that menu and go all the way down to helpful when needed. They have a lot of options on here, which is really cool. But in helpful when needed, fixer is the one that you need. So you click on fixer, which will move the songs around when they're on the wrong pages or when somebody else's is on yours. So what needs fixing? click on that and my music is on the incorrect page or somebody else's music is incorrectly on my page. So I'm going to walk you through both of them just so you know the difference. So we're going to go with my music is on the incorrect page. So what you would need to do is then select which store it is. We're going to go with Amazon because that's the top one in the list and then you would select the release. So which song is it that's on the wrong page on Amazon. So we're just going to go with Divinely Orchestrated because it's the top one. And then which artist it will come up with your artist name. So select that. And then you want to link the song. So if my song is on the incorrect page on Amazon, I would need to go onto Amazon, find my song wherever it is that's in the wrong place, copy the link to it and paste it in here. So then they know where to find it so they can move it to the right place. And then below here it says, do you already have an artist page on Amazon? So if you already have a correct artist page and you want to move the song from the wrong one onto your correct one, then you would select yes. And if you don't, then you would select no and click finished. So no means that they're then going to create one for you because you don't have one. And if you do have one, you would select yes. And then you would also copy the link to your correct artist page where you want them to move this song to. So you've got the song where it, wherever it is in the wrong place, the link to the song, and then the link to the correct artist page goes into this box. And then you would paste it there and select finished. So the next one is if somebody else's music is on your page and you don't want their song on your page because you're not the same artist, then you would select someone else's music is on my page and again select your store so for some stores which I haven't seen this before this must be a new thing that they've just done you now have to go to Amazon music for artists which I didn't even know Amazon had a music for artists thing but that's really cool because before you couldn't even access Amazon music properly they were all on separate pages for me so now you would need to submit a request through Amazon directly and I think it's the same for Spotify as well yeah you need to go to Spotify for artists but if it's on Apple Music they still allow you to do it here through DistroKid so you would link your Apple Music artist page in this box your correct artist page where somebody else's music is on your page so you link your your page and then here you link all of the songs that you want to be removed from your page and you can add multiple links if they're all on your page on Apple Music or iTunes you can link them all at once without having to go over and over this same process and then you select finished and that is it they will do it for you and it can take quite a few weeks so don't be pestering them if it takes a little while I think when you select finish it says like four weeks or something so expect it to take a little bit of time and of course if it takes too long then you can always just email and find out what's happening or you can go through this process and do it again. 
and then hope that they do it the next time around, you know? So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Definitely comment down below if you have any video suggestions and check out the description box below as well for all links to my music, my phone number, because I do send daily inspirational spiritual thoughts and videos every day, as well as links to my jewelry, um, my social media, I don't know if I said that, and one-to-one -one sessions if you would like to book a session with me and everything else about me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. It's always been my